So in this first sheet here, we have our monthly income and our monthly expenses, and we want to know how much profit we made. To start typing a formula in spreadsheets, you use the equal sign. So we're going to type in equals, and automatically Google Sheets suggests me a function. We're going to be looking into functions later, so we can ignore that for now. So one way of typing a formula is by typing the cell numbers. So I want to know my income, which is in cell B2. And you can see that there is a color coding, so the cell gets highlighted in orange and the number is in orange. And then minus my expenses, which is in cell B3, so I'm going to type in B3. And you can see again there is a color coding. To see the result, I press return or enter. And this is my profit for January, $300. A second way of doing the same operation is again by entering the equal sign. And instead of typing the cell number, clicking on the cell. So I'm going to take my cursor to B2, I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to enter the minus symbol. And then I'm going to click on B3. And again, I press enter. And that's my result. To see whether there is a formula on a specific cell, you can either come to the cell and double click it, and by double clicking you are going to open the formula, or another way is by again clicking on the cell and looking at your formula bar. So your formula bar is here, and it will show you whether there is a formula on a cell. I need to repeat the same operation for each month of the year, so this is 12 times. The easiest way of doing that is by coming to the bottom right of the cell until you see this cross, and then dragging it all the way to December and dropping it. This will copy the formula. So for example, we want to see whether there is a formula in C4, we double click and we can see the formula. The formula is C2 minus C3. In March, if we double click, D2 minus D3 and so on. Okay, so let's say we want to know what is our total profit for Q1. So let's type here total profit Q1. So our total profit will be, let's enter, let's add the equal sign to start the formula. So our total profit will be January plus February plus March. So I have added the three months and again I click on return and I have my result. If I double click, I see what the formula, and again, there is a color coding. Now let's have a look at multiplication and division. Okay, so say I'm buying banana boxes and pear boxes, and each box has 10 units. Each box of bananas costs me 230, and each box of pears cost me 380. So I want to know what is the total that I will pay for each order. So again, I start with an equal sign and then I'm gonna do for five banana boxes, so B2 times the price of each box, which is in C2. To see the result, I press return or enter. So for five boxes of banana, I will pay 1150. I want to know the same for pears, so I could drag the formula, but just let's enter it. I start the formula with equals, I click on the number of boxes, which is B3, I enter the multiplication symbol, and I click on the price per box. And 10 pairs, 
10 boxes of pair will cost me $38. Now I want to know the price per unit. So I want to know how much each banana costs me and how much each pair costs me. So what I can do, we said that we have the price per box and we have how many units there, as, there are in a box. So what we will do is start the formula with an equal sign take the price, so our banana price per box is 230 and divide it by how many bananas there are in a box, which is 10. So this is my unit price, I'm paying 23 cents for each banana. And we're gonna do the same for pairs. Start the formula with a nickel sign, click on C3, which is the price per box, and divide by the number of pairs that there are in the box, which is in B6. So each pair costs me 38 cents. If you want to practice, you will find a copy of the spreadsheet linked below in the comment section. All you have to do is open the spreadsheet, go to File, make a copy, and make a copy for yourself.